Hey, what is up, everybody? This is your boy, No One Shark. I'm about you with yet another Star Trek Fleet Command video. Today, this is going to be quite an expensive titanium video. I'm able to finally build my own personal Sanctus. I probably have done a video on it in the past, or Rev has, but this is a personal video that I'm doing for myself to show you guys of the accomplishment of finally getting there. I got the parts for free. I didn't spend a dime on it. I was able to get it over time and build it up, which is very nice. But before we jump into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell location down below. below that. Don't forget to leave a comment. And don't forget, there are donation links listed down below. And last but not least, don't forget to check out all the description I have down below in the description. So let's get into the video. Let's go take a look at, actually, let's look at the cost of the Sanctus. So let's go back. Let's go to Faction Store. And take a look at the cost of the Sanctus. So, uh, Romulan. We go right here. You see, I have 352 blueprints. It costs 30k each one. If we plug handy dandy calculator, I don't know why my desktop is showing, but I'll swap to the game to make it a little bit easier. There we go. Let me get, crop that out. So, if I did the math, it is 30 to, times by 35, which is nope. 30,000 times by 35 is 1 million and 50 fitter or Rimelin, uh, Rimelin credits. So that's what it costs to get it together, which seems like a lot, but I really did it over time, which made it really good, especially with the G5 in the faction store, if I store the Armada store, Armada, whatever you want to call it. So we go into our alliance right here. We click right here, and as you see right there, Sanctus Blueprints. I'm not 100% if they're in the rares. Let me double check. I don't think they are. No, they're on the rares. So through the epics, you can get them through there, and then over time through the Blueprints. So let's take a look at the ship. So we go down here, and we'll click on Interceptor, and we go to Sanctus. And the quick readout is... Well, what excites me more is warp distance, 391 base off the bat, which is more than the current one I have. It means I can reach each armada that is out there in the game. But a sanct, uh, the Sanctus, a prayer, a hymn to religion, Earthborn's an apt name for this Romulan design ship. The Sanctus features new technology, which can drain the power from enemy shields, meaning anyone who gets goes up against this gem of Romulan Star Empire should say a prayer that they survive to see another day. Its abilities decreases shield by 10% for five rounds. So that's gonna bump up over time, but that's if you last five rounds, you take 50% of the shields away if the shields exist at this point in the game. But the base information is, the warp is what I'm looking forward to. The warp is the biggest thing. And this is just slightly smaller than my Corvus, but it won't take long to get it up there. As you see right here, it's cost 540 billion, 540 billion just to build, and 13.1 billion in dilithium 37 days. Let's click the button and 37 days. Cool. And we're going to send it quickly out. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Boom. Here's the saying this. It barely fits. It doesn't even fit in there. It's like it's stuck. I think scope is modified, especially with like the board ship was built outside. They kind of need to start doing like outside builds and not inside builds anymore. Even though it's kind of cool coming out of the hangar, but they need to make a shipyard in space. But the Sanctus is a beauty. Under 45 million straight out the back, right in the dock. As you see right here, it is one of the more beautiful ships. I don't know why Romulan design ships seem to be really good in this game in my opinion others can say it differs but i love how they look let's get that build let's actually go grab some resources because i think i might need them let's grab another 745 billion and grab another 70 here that should probably right above my threshold and let's repair the sanctus or i think this is the corvus boom Let's grab the Sanctus out the dock. As you see, with crew, it's 162 million. So it's slightly bigger than my, my main ship, actually. So, see, this costs 45 billion for one part, 62 billion, 62 billion. 
I can't upgrade that because I don't have that. 113. But let's take a look right here. I just need 25 more warp. So what part do I want to invest in? 262, 163. Let's invest into this. Boom. Invest into this. Boom. And let's invest into that. Boom. We have three parts upgraded to it. What you see at this level is 113 billion apiece. Let's upgrade the ship. Boom. I think I only have like one lower deck slot, which is unfortunate. Let's see. We have one lower deck slot, which is going to be, of course, you, which is going to be needed. And as we take it into space, boom, there's a ship coming into space. Let's take you out. Let's take my Corvus out in comparison. And then let's take our new board cube out. So let's go to battleships. Boom. Just for the comparison shot of all the ships. It was like a station came out. So you see the comparison shot of all ships here. And you see the board cube or the board cube. I mean, this thing is 170 mil floating in space at 416 warp, which comparing to my Corvus, if you can't see, you can't see because my big head's in the way, 159 million at 370 warp. So I already have way more warp, way more strength just at tier one of the ship. As you see, let's take it out to the freebooter space, which it should have a real easy time there. So let's send it out there to show it hitting. My current crew, if you guys didn't know, is Janeway, Five, and Gorkin. I know people use different stuff. I am just, I like this one specifically more. And that's what I use. So if we see right here. Oh, wrong crew. Huh. Okay. I was doing my Voyager stuff last night for the swap them out. Oh, well, it'll still do, it'll still do what it needs to do because I'm still going to have the Cascade. I'm still going to have the 80% for the loot bonus, which I really don't care about. I could do anything else with that. But once we start seeing the new Picard come in the game, that's probably going to be a main head in the game because, well, Picard, come on. Like, look at this stuff. We start getting Picard in there just for his captain ability. And oh, no, not that one. Because he's basically five, as you see right here, increases cascade damage by three percent per each round. That's gonna be gnarly as you level them up, really gnarly. All right, let's see, the ship's almost there. Everyone's running epics today, so which is nice, which is gonna help me get my ACC up there, which desperately needs it. I saw 52 with the ACC at freaking 50 already, and I'm just like, I'm 56, and I don't have it. That's my that's my blockade. All right, peak world, shut up. All right. Let's get back in here. Boom. And let's smack battleship. Boom. Smack the battleship with mineral damage. Let's go take a look at this, the freebooter right here. And as we see in the battle log, so you see Jane does this thing. I think this does a 5 million shot right off the bat. And will it make it past the second round? Things charge. It doesn't actually show its ability working, which is weird, but it drains the shield by 10% each round. By the fifth round, it should be already depleted on its shield, most likely. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's depleted. Sanctus. Nope. I'm going to look right here. So, deals da da da. Receives hull. So, the shield's already broken before round five due to the damage output. Shield. Shield, I think it broke in round one. Oh, he's right here. Receives health. Shield health right there. I see right here, it broke the shield right away. Just in what, first round? First few volleys. That's gnarly. But with all the new uh, uh, new creatures that are out there, creatures, new ships that are out there, new enemies that are out there to hit, we'll see how it works. All right, guys, it is your boy, Noah Shaw, signing out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification down below. Don't, don't forget, there are donation links down below if you want. If you want to become a member and help out the channel on a monthly basis, it would be greatly appreciated. And don't forget, I do stream every so often on Twitch, so go follow that. All right, guys, it is your boy, Noah Shaw, signing out. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.